As shown in the diagram below, lines M and N are cut by transversal P. If the measure of angle 1 is equal to 4x plus 14, and the measure of angle 2 is equal to 8x plus 10, lines M and N are parallel when x equals what? Whether or not you have two parallel lines that are cut by a transversal, or two non-parallel lines that are cut by a transversal, you would still say that your angles that correspond are called corresponding angles. Angle 2 and angle 6 are both on the bottom right in both of these pictures. Angle 4 and angle 8 are both in the top right in both of these pictures. Angle 7 and angle 3 are both in the top left and angle 1 and angle 5 are both in the bottom left. So they're your corresponding pairs but only when your corresponding angles are equal to one another do we just say as a postulate that the two lines are parallel. So only if I put 8x plus 10 where the corresponding angle is, I'm forcing those two angles to be equal and that will force the two lines to be parallel. Those two angles being adjacent and on the same line means they'll add up to be half a circle and half a circle is 180 degrees. So 4x plus 14 plus 8x plus 10, when I add them up, must come out to 180. So 12x plus 24 must equal 180, which means 12x is equal to 156, which means x must be 13. By the way though, 8 times 13 plus 10 gives you 114. So when I said let this pink angle up there be 8x plus 10 as well, well, I was forcing it to also be 114 degrees. So if I made both of those angles equal, then the lines are parallel.